Hello everyone, I'm Russian Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Victoria 2, plays, playing as the Russian Empire. So, last episode, we were in a war against France, as well as Austria. We did really well, but Prussia said, nah, we ain't doing so hot right now. Even though we're still allied with them, they were quite disappointing. And Austria still has retained most of its power, even though their prestige tanked a little bit. They're only fourth, so it's not bad. Their industry didn't go down that much, but their military definitely did, but Italy got whacked hard. There's a reason why they're a secondary power now. Tens, prestige, 151 industry isn't terrible, but, oh, yeah, they, they got whacked pretty hard, so did Prussia, but whatever. So from here, what we're going to do right now, I've been looking at the Ottomans and China. So we have a war justification goal against China for a punitive expedition by about March of next year. So, right now, with the Ottoman Empire, we do have Cassius' ability to cut down to size or humiliate. What I really want to do is free the Balkans. For example, I want to free Serbia. I want to get as much Serbian soil for uh, Serbia as possible. Because the Ottomans, we don't like the Ottomans. We don't like the Ottomans. We really don't like the UK. Obviously, France doesn't really like us that much. But maybe we can change that. But maybe I can get some more Greek territory. I mean, we are orthodox buddies, are we not? Now, if we're going to war with the Ottomans, they're allied with Prussia, as well as Romania. Now, Prussia, I think, has, like, pretty much, probably, all of its military attacks unlocked. But, what if we waited and go to war with the Qing Empire first, which we have our justification until April 7th. Or, or expires until then. So, we could build, make more armies, and... Go to war with China for maybe a little another territory, a little piece of a town or something. Oh, you need an engineering boy. There we go. I think right. We need an engineer. Yes, we do. Looking good. Cool. And we'll go to war soon enough. But I do want to get rid of just a little bit more infamy. Pay your debts, Lubeck. Good, good, good. That being said, we could station you guys down here. We'll need some more divisions or armies around Prussia. One, two, three, four, five, ish, six, seven. Uh, hmm. How far are they? They're still uncivilized, which is good for us. You know what? I'm going to pull some guys over here. I'm going to pull another army over here. But then, I am going to pull some armies from Asia to Europe because it's going to be quite a war between me and the Ottomans and the Prussians probably probably you know what maybe we'll get throw the Italians in there I'll probably call in the, the Italians too because I want them to maybe take Libya perhaps also also in the last episode we were doing pretty well trying to expand our colonies now I'll frankly I'll probably not be able to do this and get these territories from Britain or get these colonies and you know, that's okay Eventually, we want to beat them up. Why is why are we doing so poorly here now? Money-wise, we're spending a lot on industrial subsidies. But I kind of need that. And it doesn't cost that much. Oh, let's see. Land units. Construction does cost a lot. Can we lower that by a little bit, perhaps? Yes, it definitely helps. It definitely helps. Middle class. Hmm. Lower the administra administrative stuff by a little bit. And I'll definitely get a commerce tech after this. Ooh. Uh, I think, you know what? I suppose we can just withdraw from there. That'd be fine. Whatever. Yeah, that's what I thought. And we have militant socialists, guys. Why? This is the exact wrong time to do stuff like this. God dang socialists. Well, they're, they're not that many of them, which is kind of good to see. And... Militant socialists over around here? <clears throat> Before we forget, there's no militant socialists rising up in Cuba? I mean, the majority of ideology here in Cuba and Haiti, I think, is either liberal or really just socialist. But whatever. Cool. Let's see. Militant socialists will have them taken care of. And before we forget, let's double check. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of socialists. I have to do this then. That's a lot of. Holy crap. Brusilov? Hey, wait, hold on. Brusilov. Isn't he a general during World War One? our timeline? I think he was. Nice. Uh, oh, yeah, let's do that. That's good. That's good stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. Good. 
Good. Do that. Can't do that. I go there though. Nice. Oh, we got some steel steamers. Uh, incident Hispaniola. Suppress it. Sure. Good. Now let's grab some commerce. Or tax efficiency. Hmm. Well, we can get the silver standard. It probably won't take that long to get, but I'm gonna wait maybe just a little bit to get another brigade here, because that's a lot of socialists. Oh, we lost the battle probably because we are trying to trade soldiers and move them around. I don't think I can win here. But we're doing quite a bit of damage to them. Quite a bit of damage. Yeah, we're losing a few hundred men a day versus their 1,200. They are getting Nigeria, which I really don't like. Oh, movie found great! Our excavation team working in the Valley of Kings has uncovered a hetero, or here too, undiscovered tomb, and mummified remains of an Egyptian high priest in the 19th century, or dynasty. The interior of the tomb is rich in decorations, and the discovery is an enormous success for our Egyptian expedition. Great. We're still losing, but the tide is turning right now, which is awesome. Oh god, now we're really going to lose. Ooh. Oh wait, what happened here? Oh, oh, that's what, that's exactly it. Cool. Give our guys a little bit more time to dig in. Rest up, heal up. Get some fresh boys in there. That'd be nice. Uh, God damn, I hate the British in this campaign so much. There's nothing I can do about them. And Prussia can't do anything because they're so weak. I think everywhere else is pretty good. Socialist, socialist, nope. Oh, we have people out of work? Well, I did off-screen build everything else up. Where do we have unemployed people? Oh, Russian Bennett. Well, I guess that makes sense. I don't think I can build a factory down here, can I? Oh, I can! We want a cannery. They got some tropical wood. I don't think I can do very much. Building anything here really wouldn't make any sense. Uh, you know what? Uh, if they have tropical wood, I heard that turns into rubber eventually. I don't want to build something here that doesn't make any sense, though. That really doesn't make any sense. Just keep building, expand the factories. Oh, uh, the Spanish-Russian St. Petersburg Treaty of 1892. Carlos Spain neglected the occupation of a large area in the Bight of Biafra, to which had historical rights, and the Russians have been busily expanding their occupation at the expense of the area claimed by Carl of Spain. That's what they claim, at least, and the other great powers seem to mostly agree with them. A settlement was proposed where they would get a part of what they claim, and the issue would be solved. Based on the terms of the treaty, Rio Muni would be relieved of all conflicting claims. Carl of Spain would be left with a mere 26,000 kilometers out of 300,000 stretching east to the U Ubangi River, which they initially claimed. We can't, of course, ignore all this, but our reputation would suffer greatly. Ooh, no deal. We get Infamy. We get 5 life rating. We get Bata. Game Bata. We lose Infamy and get more life rating. Where the heck is... Bata? Uh... Oh, crap. That's Bata? Well, I guess it could be worse. Hey, well, at least we can get more Infamy. Oh, my goodness. This is not good. Oh, actually. That's not too bad, then. It might say that we're losing. But really. Really. Are we really losing if we have more numbers than them? Get some tax efficiency, too. Because now we're feeling good. We're feeling better. Look at that. So much money is pouring in, even though we lowered some of our subsidies. But we did raise our uh, conscription level stuff. Nice. Get these guys a little bit more strength before we attack here. And... Oh. Screw off, Britain. Screw off. My god. What is wrong with you? You need to be severely punished. My goodness. Oh, membership of the International Olympic Committee. Great. Alright, I'm just waiting for these guys to get a little bit more organization first. Supply-wise? Oh. Well, that's probably why. Still no, I still know we have to go to war, which is fine, which is fine, whatever. Alright, good. 45,000 should be enough to take out those guys up there. Ooh, do we unlock something here? Battleships, nice. We could do that, or we could wait. How is this looking? So you got three artillery. Uh, let's pull out a potential army here. So really, or just do that. 
Yeah. We're going to put you as that, and you do that. Good. So this group needs two cannons. Can I build any more cannons in Europe? Lithuanian and Ukrainian. Oh, we have four making. We're making four. Actually, that's not too bad. Cool. I want to finish this battle up first, and then... Yeah, that'd be good. They're going to go do that, probably. Let's see. Include Portugal. That's fine. They'll probably be fine. So, do we have that... Oh, we do have groups of armies up here. That's awesome. And I just want another little port. Just a tiny little port. Not too much. Probably Hainan, actually, because of the population. But, let's go ahead... And let's see, do a punitive expedition. Afghanistan and Persia will not accept. Everyone else will, though. Which is fine with me. And we're pretty much already ready to go, since we have our armies nearby. Uh, Italy, yeah. Yeah, whatever. <clears throat> cool, I'll just move on in. I don't think they can do very much against us, so. They might be able to figure something out to do against us, though. Uh, make sure you got enough strength. That's good. That's good. That's good. Take out Mongolia. Take those guys. Take that to you. Can... Oh, I don't want to find the mountains. I really don't. Let's watch what they're, what they're going to do first. There you go. Yeah, that's really not great. Whatever. There's really no point to ally them at all. We get through this war. Keep great relations with Japan, because I do not want a war with Japan while I'm fighting wars with maybe the UK or someone like that. That just wouldn't be very smart. Alright. Major allies, which makes sense. Mongolia. That's fine. Good. Get in here. Get in here. Awesome. And we got better tax efficiency. We got more administrative efficiency for double standards as well as fixed Intra-money exchange rates. Good. Oh, and we have this. Yes, I learned. How can they... Uh, they have a huge navy, I bet. So they can keep getting more stuff. Oh, thank God, we got machine parts. <clears throat> Actually, what do we need to build for machine parts? Ooh, forts. Cool. Machine parts require coal and steel. So does anyone here have lots of coal or steel production? Steel... Let's look at this real quick. Well, that looks pretty good. Machine parts, thank you. And coal. We can build the Ukraine. I love the Ukraine. Coal. Anywhere else? How about over here? They got steel, maybe? No, just a lot of coal. A lot of coal, boys. Coal, steel, or iron. Whatever. No, nah, we don't have a lot of that. Let me over here, actually. Alright, we'll build one back here, too. Just in case we need it. Cool. Oh, we've got some territory under us. That's awesome. You guys go that way. Ten to two of us refuses to fight me, which is good. You guys. Huh, you would like to do that, my friends, huh? Cool. Put them out of their misery, please. Thank you very much. Now they're the Kamul Khanate. Very nice. Great. And they pretty much all died there. Great. Let's see what happens with that. We do not make a distinction of class. Nice. Uh, ooh, that's a lot of guys. Yeah, I hope they get down here quick enough so we can just really butcher them all. Get a little bit more war score. There you go. 13 more war scores is very nice. Policy stands. Do we have enough prestige or war score to do this? Oh, yeah. Cool. Let's go do that. We don't want to waste time. We really don't want to waste time. So, next up, I'm going to send both of these guys to Europe. Really, the Turkish lands. But even Romania might get a little uppity at us. That's good. Great job, guys. Great job. Go from here. You guys stay up there. I'm going to leave the 60 stack, probably with Vladivostok, just in case. You guys are going to come up there. This other 60 stack is going to stay right there. You guys I've already sent away. You guys are going up. Hmm. You're going to come down here. And then both of you are going to move to Europe. 
Actually, you know what? Just both of you move already. Come to Europe. Come against Prussia. We might need another army against Prussia. You know what? Screw that. This guy's coming to Europe as well. Good. All right. So we can get Xia Xing, Hainan, Quan Chowan, or Ningbo. All right. So let's see. Quad, the K word right there. It's okay. It does, it doesn't look like it has very much. Ningbo, Hainan is probably what we really want. Hainan, Ningbo, and then let's see where is that? Ningbo is right there. It has a good amount of population. It's relatively close to our other port right there, which isn't bad. Or we can take. Oh, there's Nantong. Oh, it's right there. J I A X I N G. We could take that, and actually, we're connected to both of those already. That's that actually wouldn't be too bad. That makes it a little easier to defend. And if we took Hainan, that'd be pretty hard to get to. Hmm. But that does link us down here a little better. I'm thinking of just population-wise. They got fish. This place only has silk. I mean, obviously, fish isn't very valuable. Silk, however, it's in pretty high demand. You know what? Let's get this province. J I A X. So, known as the hometown of silk, and it's a famous producer of textiles and woolens. While not being as important as neighboring Shanghai, its acquisition would help surely help our textile industry. Sure, why not? Thank you, China. I appreciate everything that you do and stand for. Sometimes. Great. Nice. We must keep our budget high because we're going to go immediately to war against the Ottomans. I'm trying to help them out. Oh, look at that. Nice. This is turning into a disgusting Africa. Immediately start expanding that way too, just in case the British want to expand that way. Uh, the Brits are British. Well, I mean, looking not terrible. They have a lot of this. The Prussians have almost nothing, which I guess sort of makes sense, you know? Makes some sort of sense. And once we get this one done, I gotta get more military tax. I definitely have to get more military tax. I think we can beat the, the Ottomans pretty easily. Okay, they're no longer Prussia. Great. Which means I'm moving down even faster this way. I'm gonna leave these guys here just in case for <clears throat> potential rebels. Uh, you know what? Give me one of you guys. Good. Let's get at least one more army over here. I want three over here, and then at least like five over here, because Romania will probably complain about us. So, God, I want to go to war with Belgium so badly to get the Congo. Oh, militant socialists, cool. Also, let me double check this. Yeah, actually, we were over here earlier. I didn't do anything about it. You guys come here. You guys are fine. Good, good, good. Yeah, over here we got more than enough bureaucrats, so we're gonna put bureaucrats over here. Thank you. Uh, regarding this, we got some bureaucrats coming in. Hispaniola, which is awesome. Also known as, formerly known as Haiti. You guys are doing pretty well. You guys are almost done. Finally, that are almost done. Clerks in Kazan? Clerks. Uh, it's 1%. What about Moscow? 1.6 Kursk. 1.4 Kharkov. Kharkov. Well, we'll do that. Get some clerks going. There you go. Nice. And over here, well, it's trying to get better. Great. We have some potential rebels. Ooh, organization in Uzbekistan. Nice. Very nice. And Turkmenistan. Nice. And look, we're second in the world. Parliamentary agitation. We're only right behind them. We actually surpassed the French in terms of score. I might need them, actually, to beat up the, uh, the Brits. So... Yep, you know it. So, push for laissez faire. Uh, that's actually not a bad thing to have, especially eventually. Just because a uh, late game, you don't really don't want to mess with the economy too much. So, we really don't have a lot of reforms we could do. Oh, look at that. What? The oh no, no, no. No Britain, no. Bad Britain. When can we do this one next? On the 26th. Good, let's get some more military attacks. Uh, deep def- uh, 
we can get this a little bit more quickly. It would be nice. Forward? Oh, God. Great. That's that one paper. God dang. I hate the British so much. I need allies to kill the British. Ooh, Yakutsk. Nice. Keep increasing relations, relations with the French. That'll be good. Come on. I'm just giving time for my soldiers to get to uh, Europe. Cool. Oh, what the heck happened here in Catalonia? Um. Why? What happened? Italy, why don't you like building roads? No wonder the trains never run on time. You don't build roads. Cool. They have Romania. I'm gonna go to war. I'm gonna free the ball. Oh, we can do this other stuff. Because we have it for free now. Pay reparations, humiliate. I'm gonna free the Balkans. So now we gotta figure out do we want Wallachia, Serbia, Greece, Bulgaria, Bosnia, Herzegovina, or Albania to be free? Well, let's take a quick look. So. Population density, that really wouldn't do any much for us. Infrastructure, culture, oh, culture. Culturally, I haven't showed you this map at all yet. There's a lot of Ukrainians, quite a few Russians around here, obviously. Circassians, a few Finns right here and there, you know, normal stuff. Belarusians, Lithuanians, Estonians, Latvians, you know, Poles. There's a lot of Poles around here. Makes sense. Uh, we also have a lot of Kazakh culture. Some Belarusian up there, that's interesting. Tartar, what is that? U Ugrian? You green? What the heck is this? Iberian? Yakut. Interesting. Yeah, there's a lot of spillover between here and there. This place is firmly Russian, though. Firmly Japanese. Firmly Korean. China looks like a big old mess, which makes sense. Uh, you know what? Do that, too. If I can find build more forts. Yeah, this... The Caucasus region. Just a, a giant mess. Just a giant mess. I don't think much has changed, though. Uh, let's see... Germans, Germany. France is actually a little more divided than what people think. Like, you got Breton culture there, you got a little Picardy culture, or Picard. Walloon, Flemish, Dutch, of course. Uh, Irish, Swedish. Swedish? Whatever. British. Dixie culture? Okay, interesting. They got. Ew, there's not much Texan culture, that's disappointing. That's really disappointing. Yeah. Arkansas? Hot Springs? Huh? Mexico is pretty Mexican. And Mesoamerican Indian. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but what I'm looking for, spirit of influence, map mode, party loyalty. Uh, not really party loyalty either. But I'm joining you with my cat, Binky. My Russian cat, Binky. I'm like, oh, I actually haven't showed you this at all. People are leaving the Russian Empire. About 3,600 a year, or I guess within the past month. Uh, 900 from them, 2,800 from them, where they're all going to up there. Actually, let me see. Some people are leaving Moscow, which is, you know, whatever. But, civilization, relations, crises. Oh yeah! Oh my God! Look at me. There's so many potential crises, crises that could happen. I'm looking for like cores because I want to see how much territory Greece can actually get. I want if I do Greece, I can do Bulgaria. Ooh, do the Greeks? The Greeks don't have a lot of claims around there. Mm, would it be better to have a stronger Bulgaria? I think Bulgaria is it because they could be like just straight under us. So let's do Bulgaria. Even though I like Greece and Romania, I, or in Serbia, I really want to get a strong Bulgaria out here. Alright, let's free the Balkans for Bulgaria. Now, can we call our allies? And yes, most of them, just Persia and Afghanistan won't accept. <sighs> Good. And Italy's been called in, Persia's been called in. Oh, this is going to be fun. Are we not fighting? What? Romania? What? Let's go to Varna. We shall liberate our Orthodox gang buddies. Oh, the supply's gonna be so crap down here. Oh my goodness. I can already see it. Thousands of men are dying to, due to attrition. Actually, we got a couple ships here. I wonder if we can do that. They're only monitors. Actually, can we make cruisers? That'd be much better. No, we can't. We don't have it unlocked. Huh. Well, the more you know. Oh, we are at war with Romania. That's good. Actually, that's really good. Take him out first. Oh, Serbia called in. Was called in. Great. Hope people put, like, actual demands here. Parliamentary agitation. It's fine. Gr 
great wars. We have before us an ordeal of the most grievous kind. We have before us many, many months of struggle and suffering. You ask, what is our policy? I say it is to wage war by land, sea, and air. With all of our might and with all the strength God has given us, and to wage war against a monstrous tyranny, never surpassed in the dark, and lamentable catalog of human crime. That is our policy, yet you ask, what is our aim? I can answer one word, it is victory. Victory at all costs. Victory in spite of all terrors. Victory however long and hard the road may be. For without victory, there is no survival. Growing na national pride in countries around the world has reached the point where people will not accept anything less than total victory when the great powers clash. From now on, any conflict with at least two great powers on each side will be regarded as a great war. God help us all. Great, we discovered great wars. It's appropriate that the Russian Empire would discover great wars. Oh, I love it. Blockade them just a little bit. Purge. I'm only allying them at this point just so that they don't get influenced or allied with anyone else. Oh, wait. What are you doing? No, don't leave. Um, America? Sure. Russian-American relations have never been better. Good. We're, uh, you know what? Just go ahead and... Okay, they decided to commit die. Okay. Now, Britain. Enforce the Russian curricula. Of course you, we must. Of course. Oh, look at Prussia. They're coming down now. <clears throat> oh, we're going to deal with that army over there, though. Great. I'm going to deal with them right now. Oh, and you. Come here. Nice. This is looking great. <clears throat> I guess... <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Everyone wants to be my ally. I've got Italians, I've got Prussians, I've got Austrians, I've got Americans. France, would you like an alliance? Nice. Let's just destroy Romania first. Japan? You know what? This is where we it pays off being everyone's friend. Everyone wants an alliance. Ah, uh, yes. We're going to beat the snot out of these guys, and I love it. Good. You know what? Oh, you guys... We come right there. I'm gonna. This is gonna be pretty costly. Pretty costly of a battle for us, probably. But that's okay. <clears throat> It'll be worth it in the end. Nice. Just thousands are dying. Oh, look at that. We actually lost those guys that I thought. Great. Uh, come to Skopje. Go for Istanbul. We are an absolute military power. Oh, the Dutch allied with them. With the Turks. Which, why? Do they really want to die? Well, look how many friends I have. Obviously, I'm going to take a prestige hit. <clears throat> Excuse me, eventually. But, uh, you know, that's okay. But we gotta make sure. Every time, every game. As soon as we get to the 1900, we get gassy. That is important. Get more defense, I guess. That'd be good. Deep defense sounds really nice. The Prussians have it. I don't think we really need to help them out there. They'll be fine. Dude, can I build up a port? Did I? I have built up a port here. Nice. That's good stuff. Actually, I can build up another army here. Let's see. We have currently 8, 1, 2. So we need 1 infantry and 2 artillery. Actually, we have engineers. No, we don't. So we'll get an engineer. Let's get an infantry. And an artillery. Great. That's awesome. That's really, really awesome. And you guys are looking pretty okay. Awesome. Move you guys over here to Gulf of Varn. They might ask, what did we ever do to deserve this, Russia? Of course, the Ottomans would say that. Well, just because you exist. That's pretty much it. <clears throat> excellent, excellent. Look at that. Beautiful. Just so beautiful. Oh, they're trying to rescue the capital, but the capital cannot be rescued from now. For now, uh, good. Oh. Oh, what's that? A crisis? France versus a colon. Oh, colony stuff. Oh, well, that's not really gonna be an important great war. UK back Carlos Spain. Interesting. Oh, we've got the capital. We have got the capital, my friends. I forgot to move you. I realized we weren't sieging down Serbia. Oh, we know we're gonna shatter these guys. You know what? No. 
We're not gonna liberate Bulgaria. Can we get any more? Can I add a war goal? It probably is. Oh, yes, we. Oh, yes. Oh, we can do more. Oh, oh, yes. Well, I mean, that would cost quite a bit. Oh, Serbia. Can we do. Th How much would it cost to do this? 61. Ooh. I don't think we can go above 100. 50. 44. Wala. Walashia. If I release Walashia, that'd be kind of bad. I prefer to, prefer to give it just to, just to Romania. 68. We could try that. I don't think it'll go, but you know, we could try it. Vitola? We're gonna destroy any sense of industry this country had before. Mm, just in case, yeah. We should have sent both armies in there immediately. Yeah, better army supply consumption. Get in there, come on. Good. Okay. Okay, Saudi. I'm gonna make sure that the Ottomans never recover from this. So we can beat them up, beat them up even more later on. This will be our new China. No. What are you talking about? I'm having a great time, guys. Nice. Pretty good. Oh, even the Italian boys showed up. Please, people, can you demand for stuff? Please demand for stuff. This is a great opportunity and time to demand for stuff. You know what? Just stay there. Oh. The rise of mysticism. Hmm. Imaginary things can't hurt. Lose six consciousness. Uh, you know what? If that's what keeps the people distracted, so be it. Alright, so here we go. So building a big old navy with cruisers eventually. But I need to get bigger naval ports. God dang it. God dang it. What's your industrial score? 100? That's too much. That's too high. Nope. Even though we could be lowering... Go to peace to lower our... Uh, uh, infamy. It is what it is. Nice. No, wait, wait. No, don't move. Good. I don't think they really needed us, but that's okay. Nice. I don't think they'll accept both. Uh, cut the empire down size. Yeah, we can't really go above 100. Let's just do that for now. We'll come back to war so we can do it later. Look at that big Bulgarian boy. That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Put you up there. I'm going to put you right here, just in case, you never know, and you will come over here, you will come to, well, the mounds are pretty bad, yeah, but supplies not too bad here, I'll do that, you guys, I'm going to send you back to Asia, because you should really be over there, just in case things go really badly over here, and then, does everyone have goals or ways to move, you could do yes, 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 one, two, three, four, Everyone else here. Yes, yes. It looks like we're pretty good. Oh, we can make it a state in the Russian Congo. Over. Oh my god, that's a lot of money. Nice. Let's cut this down a little bit more. Increase this. Lower this. Maybe even lower that. I doubt we could... Alright, we're making bank. We are making some serious big boy bank. Uh, but... Oh, oh, you know what? Romania, they're still in the Turkish sphere or the Ottoman sphere, but Bulgaria got this. Oh my god, that's so amazing! And you know what? I'm gonna build them up. I'm gonna build them up. I'm gonna make them great. We're gonna make Bulgaria great again. Oh, they even got North Macedonia. That's so nice. Even though that's going to produce some conflict between them and the Serbs. But you know what? What is the Balkans without a little conflict? Yeah, good. Come on. You know what? That's good enough. I'm not gonna bother with that. Nice. So now, what we have to do is not piss everyone off, like everyone else. Uh, what are these guys up to? I mean, I'm going to lose prestige if I don't choose a side. Oh, nice. They're 17th place. Ooh, I really kind of want to help out France. Me and France versus UK and Spain. Spain isn't super strong, I think. But I really don't have a navy to contest the British yet. Hmm. Yeah, we should probably get bigger naval bases. Yeah, what am I doing? Yep, they did that. Okay. 
What? What happened to Catalonia? What? Nice. Ah, very nice. I'm feeling pretty good about that. That was amazing. And we got a good big old buddy boy here. I love it. Right, can we, we collected on an island around here or something. Or place. Oh, Elba. That's a big Elba. Is that really that big in real life? I don't know. Nice. We're making so much money. Expand factories if we can. Before we do anything else, double check the roads. Uh, Bulgaria's going to come online. Yes. This is really weird. I've never played a game where I'm allied with almost all of continental Europe. But with all the major powers. Oh, shnikes. That's not good. Oh. As soon as I say something. Oh, the god communist down there. Alright, boys. Why? You know what? Dutch acquisition of Ethiopia, whatever. America's intervening in South American affairs. Uh, Venetia. You know, I like Austria like the next guy, but... You know what? If I can make Italy stronger, so be it. If I can make Austria weaker, Prussia still might have a chance to sphere everything. Let's double check this. So, these people are not sphered... Oh, they're sphered by Prussia. Actually, Prussia only needs a few more guys here. And they can probably do it, actually. All they need is, like, three states? You know what? I could go to war with Austria right now. How strong are they? 122 versus 180... Oh, they're not as strong as them. We could dismantle Austria. If we can do this correctly. I'm sorry. Hurt my prestige? Yes. And this is, of course, immediately after we just finished the war down here, which is, you know, okay. Sorry, Austria. I know we were allied, but, you know, that's what happens when you make so many alliances. It is what it is. Not your fault. But you did whack Prussia so hard that we have to ha we had to suffer millions, not millions, but a ton of people wanting to be our ally. And I didn't like that. I really didn't like that. It got very annoying. I started mobilizing. Whatever. Where are you going? I mean, you just literally threw your men into the slaughterhouse here. Oh, I got even more digging cap and engineer support. That's nice. Get some more uh, ports. Oops. Oops. I clicked too fast. We just killed off 39,000 Austrians. They just threw them in. Why did you do that against Prussia before? Oh, they got some Saxons here. All right, my ancestors. Looks like we were getting rid of you. Oh, thirds are down there. Nice. Good, good, good. Go do that. Nice. Do we have any other guys here? We need two artillery, which is provided right there. Great. We have an extra Hussar over. Left over. And we need another infantry division. And there we go. Nice. Exotic fauna. Great, yes. All right, how's Italy doing? Cause oh, there's eh, they're doing okay. Um, sure, sure. You know, I think in the past couple episodes we weren't doing too much with expansion, but now I'm feeling like you know we're doing we're not doing too bad. And just because we don't take territory doesn't mean we can't liberate other people. And I really want to make sure we have less and less and less infamy. But even though we're at war. Things happen, you know. You Turks got Romania? Well, I get Bulgaria. The, the Prussia of the Balkans, even though I don't think they're going to be called that in this timeline. The Prussians aren't very good. But it is what it is. Prevziel? Good, go ahead and get rid of those thousands of guys. Yeah, no. Britain, you already have way too much. Stop eating more. Nice. More defense, attack defense, good stuff. Good. Destroy them when they're small. Just destroy the, those little stackies. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff, my friends. The policy stands. Doesn't matter what the policy is, it stands. Come 
on. I was hoping this battle would finish first. Oh my god, I'm dying here. Okay, get down here immediately. Uh, divert more water, local farms. Let's do that. Alright, now... Oh, we lost 49,000. That's way too many guys. Where are they going? I'm going to kill this army off. You, though, are going to stand back. The Manifesto de Monteserri. This could be trouble. Oh, Marti, a Cuban intellectual and radical who has spent a great deal of organizing emigres to the United States, has returned to the colony and declared the Manifesto de Monte Cristi. Oh, an exposition of the purposes and principles of the coming Cuban Revolution. It's easy uprising, or seems the uprising has been planning for some time, and if the Russian government intends to remain in control of Cuba, it could have a battle ahead. So be it. Kill these guys off. Venetia? No. I'm going to do to you. <clears throat> what we should have done to you years ago, but Prussia was just way too weak to do anything. Actually, for right now, too, let's let's get let's more units here. Uh, we need six. No, 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 we need four. Four infantry and seven artillery. Let's get one, two, three, four, five. Five of that. So we need two more. Maybe throw in an engineer, possible. Eh, let's get some infantry first. Two, three, and infantry. And our yeah, engineer. Cool. I'm going to put you right here just so we can transport soldiers between the two groups. France. UK. I really hate the UK. Even though we have good relations with them, I still hate them so much. Mm, Austria. Russia. Whatever. Ooh, Italy. Maybe. Italy. Yeah, I don't know. Italy's pretty good relations with us. Serbia loves us. They love us. I like you, Romania. I really do. But. Your overlord does not like me. Good. Kill them off. We just lost 50,000 Russians for no reason. I'm going to keep you guys here. <clears throat> well, actually, you guys might be able to take those group out. Nice. We lost 30,000 versus not much. Holy crap. That's really not good. <laughs> Kill them again. Oh, my God. We're losing so many men a day. Holy crap. That's so not good. Oh, uh, you know what? So be it. We'll just end this war quickly. It's fine. It's not worth much, but hey, we're at peace. Which is good. Yeah. We still need to work on our army. Look at how many men have died. Now, I don't know how much Austria has researched. That's a lot of dead guys that we have. And I really don't like that. Cool. Come right there. Cool. Let's lower this a little bit more. Save a little bit of money because we're going to need it in the future. That'll be good. Keep construction high so we can build more stuff. The travels of... The dude. Where is it? Oh, there it is. A pop off. If you want to read that, I'll let you read that right now. Mm, hired a team of experienced workers from a factory in Guangdong. All right, cool. It's about Chinese tea. It's basically about getting tea for Russia. Cool. Awesome. We got better naval bases. Let's grab even better naval bases for now, and let's expand our naval bases. Oh, actually, you guys are not done yet, which is fine. Oh, God, we can build forts everywhere. I'll build forts probably off-screen. Wis Galicia is done, finally. Do we need more administrative stuff down here? Yes, we do. Good. And ports, my friends. Ports. You know what? I'll do this off-screen. But I hope you enjoyed today's episode. We have done quite a bit. We went to war like three different times, which is really, really awesome. We beat up the Chinese to get another great little treaty port. We have also gone to war with the Ottomans and liberated a big old Bulgarian boy. Leave a like for that. Holy crap. But hey, maybe leave a like just in general. But uh, then we also went to war with Austria and made sure our ally Italy got a little bit of more proper Italian soil. But I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you all tomorrow as we lead Russia into the 20th century. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.